Spark Africa is always looking for new businesses and surprising initiatives. Today we report from Johannesburg, South Africa. The Football World Championship in the summers of 2010 will take place in South Africa's capital, Johannesburg. If there is one thing you can count on, is that this event will be very loud. In South Africa, when going for a football match means making as much noise as possible to support your team. Besides the Vuvuzela, we now have the Zazu Horn. The Vuvuzela boosts our morale. It makes us go crazy. It's the spirit of soccer. Fanny Nithlin didn't think that one horn would be enough. This South African designer and entrepreneur who was raised on a farm near Kimberley felt inspired by the animals in his surroundings. He remade the horn of the kudu into the zazu horn. I always wondered how one can advance it a little bit further from the traditional horn that the sangomas etc. use. And um, this was the start of something that stayed in my head for a long time. Two years ago, Nithlin, together with an industrial designer, decided to work on this concept. His initial idea slowly grew into a genuine product made of plastic. The shape of this antelope horn, very sophisticated, it, it twists and turns, which in terms of producing that on mass production uh, poses some very big challenges. The two men behind the horn expect to reach numerous supporter groups, preferably supporters of all the 32 countries participating in the World Championships. So they have come up with an idea. Every country can attach its own national flag to the horn. If other countries, they must adopt whatever I do, there's a, all of Africa, whatever they must do, I definitely show, they must do whatever we are doing in South Africa. They must adopt our, our country. Our country is very unique. <laughs> The founders of the Horn aim to craft this invention into a big business. They also hope that the common shop owner or a small salesman will profit from this as well. They'll be able to buy the Horn for a mere 45 rand and sell it for 100 rand, which will result into a tidy profit. We want to create something that, that is usable uh, for everybody. And what I mean with that is not only blowing on it, it, it it's also for, for people to maybe sell and make some money out of. That leaves us with two horns, one very loud and the other a little less loud. Um, because Vivizelas, incidentally, were actually stolen train hooters from the train uh, spoon in South Africa and people started manufacturing them in plastic. So they really were a hooter and didn't consider the, the decibels or human uh, ear issues on it, so it's um, more of a blast than, a, than a, a musical sound. We like to think of this as a musical instrument now, uh, with the music of Africa coming out of it for the World Cup. So now you may judge for yourself what sound will help win the match.